guys, this is um, a tin record challenge by Frank at Channel 33, him and his beautiful wife, um, to pick 10 blind records. We're going to see if Rod here can name a fact about 10 random records that I chose blindly. And I have not seen them, have I? No, not at all. So, I, so, I don't know the records. I just randomly picked them. So, so yeah. This you is ready? Frank's challenge. Frank, thank you. Oh, and I'm Casey, by the way. I'm his eldest daughter. I'm Rod, your happy hippie. And I'm Casey. Let's go. Give me one. You ready? Yeah, give me one. All right, here we go. Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. Give us a fact. This is a black exportation movie um, from back in the day. Curtis Mayfield. This is actually a fantastic soundtrack. Curtis Mayfield, a wonderful, wonderful musician. And look at the gatefold on this one. Ooh, I like that. Movie, uh, it may it may come off a little cheesy today because they didn't put a lot of money in the budget. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys? But this is a super, super cool soundtrack, my friend. Wonderful, wonderful album. Curtis Mayfield, you cannot go wrong with Curtis Mayfield. You ready for number yeah. two? All right. Muddy Waters. This is a Record Store Day issue album. I don't have to tell y'all anything about Muddy Waters, a legendary blues musician. Um, I will tell you a funny fact where it's not funny. It's kind of sad. Um, Johnny Winter found out this guy was doing side jobs to make a living and could not in the 70s mm -hmm. and could not believe it. And he produced one of um, the album Heart Again by Muddy Waters that really relaunched this genius of a musician's career. Muddy Waters is the blues. All right. And this one, I actually know. Oh, uh, this is a uh, Neil Young. Why does that name sound familiar? Not my favorite Neil Young album. Uh, this is with Crazy Horse. You know, Neil Young had very many incarnations. Um, Great artist, though. One, oh, God. Wonderful artist. Like I said, this is not my favorite album by him. But good illustration. A lot of these you find now people have colored in over the years. I guess they got them when they were young. Um, I would I would not even put this in my top 10 new young albums, personally. Yeah, Zuma. Okay. All right. Ooh, I didn't even know I picked that one. Possibly. Arguably. The greatest album of the 1990s. Of course, I'll go with and, that. In fact, I'm saying it is. I'm it saying is. it's the number yes. one album of the 1990s. What year did it come out? I believe it was 93. And you, young lady, owe me a copy of this on cassette. Because I had a copy of cassette in the car. 1991, I was off. I was thinking 93 because you, you were You know, I asked you. Why? Because I knew it was the year I was born. Really? Came out the year I was born. When, when she was two years old, she pulled all the tape out of my Nirvana tape. Yeah. God, I forgave her. I still well, throw it up to her. Yeah. God, many years. Um, what can I say about this album? This broke Nirvana um, into mainstream. Yes. The little baby on the cover has twice tried to sue Nirvana and the photographer and his mother and everyone involved in this album. Really? That's true. Um yeah. Greatest grunge album ever made. Yep. Uh, and it came out the year I was born. In the year now you, you know born. I know. Um, and it's it's fantastic. It's in my top ten favorite albums. In my opinion, it's one of the ten best albums ever made. Awesome. All right. Doing good. Thank you. Lord have mercy. Saxon. Uh, the story I can tell about this, I was watching... Um, it looks like Hitler. Fuck him, man, if it looks like Hitler. No, no Hitler. Um, golly gosh, Jeff. Mega Jeff. Uh, we all know Mega Jeff's channel, Hard Rock Guy. He was talking about the Saxon album had just dropped in price to $9 on eBay. Not on eBay, but on Amazon Prime. And he said it was like a $35, $40 album. So I went over and checked. I found it for $9.99 free shipping. Ooh. And I bought it. This is a blind buy. This is not in my wheelhouse. Um, I don't know what came over me that night. I'll be honest with you. Hammer of God is a pretty good song. Hammer of Gods. Um, but that's really the only song I remember off the album. I've played it twice. 
this would make great VCLT for someone who's into this music. I'm not, but for 10 bucks, I took a blind buy. All right. You suck, Casey. Um, you suck bad. I know nothing about this album. Got him. Got me good. Uh, Isn't this, she pretty, though? You know, she's beautiful. Look on the back. She's a very pretty lady. Um, beautiful smile. Uh, some Tejas music. Um, I love soundtracks. Yeah. I got this in a box of albums. I know I always say it, but it's, it's true because I buy lots. I know nothing about this album other than she's a beautiful woman. And um, What was the bet we had? I don't think we had a bet. We didn't have a bet? I don't know. Um, she got me. I shouldn't even have even had this album in my collection. <laughs> I, it's, she got, okay, one. She got All right. me. There we go. One out of ten. Oh, ho, ho. Charles Flippin Lloyd. Does he get his redemption? I get my redemption. I was just listening to this last night. Charles Lloyd is my favorite living jazz musician. Charles Lloyd. I think he's going to be 86, 86 this year. That's okay. And he's coming out with another album. Manhattan Stories. Side three of this, or is it four? Dreamweaver. You would think you're listening to freaking psychedelic rock. He mixes jazz and he fuses it with so many elements of freaking music, smooth jazz and bebop and free jazz. Um, Charles Lloyd actually once toured with the Beach Boys really? as a member. Yeah, he wasn't an official member, but he played with them. Charles Lloyd, if you don't know him, change that. He is the coolest cat in jazz today. He's the man. Awesome, awesome. I feel relieved. I feel, I feel vindicated. All right. The Doors. Oh. What can I say about this iconic album? This, of course, is a reissue. Um, the Doors, Strange Days, People Were Strange. You had a thing for the word strange. The Doors. The band never had a bass player. Never had a bass player. Um this is one of the biggest selling albums. I don't have to sit here and tell you about this. I love the cover. I've always dug the cover. Uh, of that's why I chose it because yeah. I like the cover. Strange Days by the Doors. Okay. All right. Ooh, Duke Ellington and John Coltrane. Two of the finest jazz musicians ever. This was VCLT from a friend of mine, Josh, out in California. We know Duke Ellington, what a wonderful performer. John Coltrane, the legendary John Coltrane. Mostly he's famous for his album, um, Love Supreme. It's a very mellow blend of music, very chilled album. I would listen to this with your mother over a bottle of wine or two. Um, not an album you're going to listen to with your boys over the house. Right, no. But it, it's a, it's a nice, very nice, smooth album. And the last one, all right. Margot Price, you hear me talk a lot about Margot Price. I love Margot Price. She's an inspiration to uh, young ladies. Oh, I love the cover. That's beautiful. Is it? She's an amazing woman. She's so talented. She plays the drum. She plays guitar. This was her third album. She's got it. I won't get it. She's got a new one out since then. Since then, this came out during the pandemic. And my wife actually is the one that turned me on to this fucking album. Your mother. Can you believe right. that? Of all people. Margot Price. I adore this woman. She's my favorite female artist. Bottom line. So how'd I wow. do? Wow. Nine out of ten. That, I'll give she it She got some. me, man. Yeah. I don't even know why I had that album in the house. This is my daughter, Casey. I'm Rod, your happy hippie. Thanks for watching. And um, and if you want me back on the channel, give them as many likes as you can, and I want more subscribers for them. Yeah, you want her back on, man? Just let me know in the comments. She, she could be a, a part of the weekly uh, team. Yeah. Frank at Channel Thirty Three. Thanks for uh, coming up with this. Peace.